Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 16.6 Beta 5 released to developers today and iOS 16.6 Public Beta 5 will either be out by the time you're watching this video or sometime tomorrow most likely. Now this particular update released alongside a ton of other updates with iPadOS 16.6 Beta 5 and all of those updates along with an unexpected iOS Rapid Security Response 16.5.1a. I did a video on that already. There's also a macOS Rapid Security Response 13.4.1a as well. Now, as you can see, this came in at 561.1 megabytes. That's on the iPhone 14 Pro and was about five to 600 megabytes on the other devices here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then general, then about. And as you can see, the build number is 20G5070A. And with the A at the end, it looks like Apple's going back to what they did before, where we get down to the letter A, then the next version would be the release candidate typically then the final release after that. We'll talk about when to expect that a little bit later. Now, as far as what's new, well, the first thing is there is a modem update going from beta four to beta five with beta three to four. We did not have an update now on the 14 pro and 14 pro max. We're up to version 1.80.02. As far as what's new, well, we still don't have that contact key verification. So if we search for that, you'll see it doesn't show up. So contact key verification is not here. And this is something coming a little bit later that we saw with beta one show up, but it's not here. Apple seems to be pushing most features to iOS 17, which makes sense on Apple's website. It explains what this is and they showed this back in December. So it's a bit odd that it's not out yet, but it just helps you verify who you're actually talking to is who they say they are based off what's in your contacts. So that's something that will be coming in the future. That will be really nice. As far as other new features, well, there's more mention of Siri education. So that's something that we could see in accessibility. And there's also mention in Apple wallet of possibly some updates there with Apple cash and savings with some different wording changes and also potential changes here. We saw some of this with iOS 17 betas where we saw the actual time to transfer that savings information or savings account to your bank actually change to about five days instead of one to three. So they're making some small changes here in there. There's also mention of different security needed for using home. So if you're using the home app and maybe you're adding an accessory and upgrading your home, you may be required to enable two factor authentication. If you're not already within iCloud. Additionally, there's a small change here. If we go into settings and then we go to general and then we go to about and then coverage, you'll see here with iOS 16.5.1 a, and I also have this rapid security response installed here on the left, on the right, the actual wording is changed slightly. We're seeing a lot of little refinements. So it says coverage is only shown for iPhone and select Bluetooth paired devices for a full list of your devices. Go to Apple support before it said coverage is only shown for the iPhone and Bluetooth paired devices that can be covered covered by Apple care plus. So they're just refining the wording, reducing it really, and making small changes throughout iOS 16.6, what they're actually waiting for and why we're not seeing more features or small changes. And we need a full update is a little bit of a mystery at this point. Typically by beta two, we see more changes here and there. So we're just not seeing a ton of things yet. Hopefully we'll see more when it releases to the public. As far as camera improvements, I've mentioned that before. I don't expect any with iOS 16. However, with iOS 17, we're seeing a little bit of improvement when we're taking photos, some more features with different things here and there with the ability to preserve settings, more information and more just like that. in iOS 17, we're not seeing it in iOS 16. Also, as far as bugs or remaining issues, well, that notification bug is still here. You can see here, it just sort of jumps into place. So that's still something that's here. That's also in iOS 17 that they haven't resolved yet. Now, if we go into the feedback app, let's take a look and see if they've updated the notes at the time of when I started this video, they hadn't. And within the notes, we only have iOS 17 and iPad OS 17 beta three release notes. Apple hasn't updated their notes for iOS 16.6 betas, but typically they're not really adding a whole lot at this point. It's very sparse and a little bit disappointing that we don't have better documentation as far as that goes. Most people are probably getting their apps ready for iOS 17 anyway, but there are still people that want to make sure their apps are compatible with iOS 16.6.
Now, as far as overall performance, I've already seen a few people post, whether that be in Telegram or Discord channels that we have, that this is super smooth and fast, and they're seeing a noticeable improvement in overall performance as far as just general smoothness. So going back and forth, ProMotion, maybe opening music, you'll see it seems to be fairly quick other than it just loading, and that's my internet connection. But in general, things are loading as expected. Going into different apps seem to work as expected, even if they haven't been open. So nice and fast there. As far as battery life, that always takes a few days to measure, but Beta 4 seemed to be pretty decent for most people, and I had Cameron sent over his battery life, and this is on an iPhone 14 Pro Max with 97% battery health. So pretty good overall, 4 hours and 32 minutes of screen active time, 2 hours and 56 minutes of screen idle time, and he only used 50% of his battery. So that's pretty good overall. If we go to the next day, 9 hours and 13 minutes of screen active time, and he still didn't even use 100% of the battery. That's pretty great great battery life, much better than I'm getting an iOS 17 beta. So that's great to see. I would expect iOS 17 betas to get a little bit better though. But if you're wondering if you should install iOS 16.6 beta 5, well, if you're on iOS 16.5.1 or any of the previous updates, I probably would just wait for the public release at this point. I would probably wait for iOS 17 public betas if you're wanting to experience new features and changes there. If you're a developer and you're on beta 4 already, well then definitely update it. As far as iOS 16.6 RC release, at this point we could see it at the end of this week or early next week, with a final release usually the following Monday. So we could see it as soon as the 17th or as soon as the 24th. That's what I'm expecting there. As far as iOS 17 public betas release, we could see that tomorrow. Typically after the next beta from the previous version, we usually see that year over year that's been consistent. So we could see iOS 17 public beta as soon as tomorrow or Wednesday, or they could wait another week till we get to beta four. So iOS 17 beta four is expected next week. And then probably we'll go to a week by week basis after that. So we could have as many as eight betas with a final release sometime in September. That's usually what we see. So lots of changes are expected in iOS 17, not so much with 16.6. As far as benchmarks go, I did run those on here. So let's go ahead and take a look. I airdropped the benchmarks from beta four over to the 14 pro max, but you'll see it was from 14 pro. And so to compare, Today we have 2,581 compared to 2,562. So beta five is a little higher there. We have a little bit lower multi-core score at 6,120 compared to 6,692. That doesn't really mean a whole lot. If I reran this, it could jump right up. But at this point, I'm thinking that it's probably pretty set and ready to go. It's nice and fast, it's smooth, and isn't really getting warm or anything like that. It seems to be a pretty good beta overall, and many people have said that on the YouTube community polls that I run on the weekends. Now, if you've found anything else in iOS 16.6 beta 5 that I haven't mentioned, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know what version of iOS you're running as well. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, it's always linked in the description. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.